Thompson has three variations to her laparoscopic system. Our instrument holder, flexible, and our articulating arm. Our instrument holder is, has most rigidity. Our flex arm gives some rigidity that can be adjusted here. It has most flexibility. And then our articulating arm gives both the flexibility and rigidity. When setting up the rigid instrument holder, first grab your elite rail clamp. Make sure that the tongue is completely receded into the rail clamp. Attaching to the bed, grabbing securely in the center and pulling upward. Tighten down. Make sure that it bites the OR bed rail and is secure. There's ears on top of the elite rail clamp to make sure that it is secure to the OR bed. Next, there's two pivotal points to the rigid arm. The first is at the top of the arm that can be tightened down here. The other is in the joint itself on the rail clamp. Move up and down. Secure by grabbing the rail clamp and the latch itself and squeeze. And then from there, Tighten as desired. In most cases, this is not entirely recommended to use as an instrument holder. For instance, using a Nathanson hook. But the reason is that the flexibility in this may not be strong enough to maintain a position of holding an organ. Once a case is complete, always make sure to loosen the arm before sterilization. The arm must be completely flexible before sterilization. If not, this tends to wear out the coils that are within this arm itself. So always be sure that there's a complete flex before sending into sterilization. Another alternative to having the flexibility yet strength and rigidity is our articulating arm for both scope and camera. The articulating arm simply loosens at the elbow and can move where desired. And then once position is desired, simply tighten down. No movement, complete rigidity. Again, an alternative for both camera use and instrument use. If two laparoscopic arms are needed, being the flex and rigid, you will need the elite rail clamp with two joints in order to accommodate both arms. The S-Lock Nathanson hook functions by simply inserting the adapter into the head of the articulating arm and tighten. Then insert your Nathanson hook into the adapter and lock it into its desired position. The S-Lock Nathanson hook gives you the rigidity of retraction without the slippage and rotation. For pediatric use, we suggest using our 11-inch rail clamp.
the laparoscopic articulating arm and flexible laparoscopic holder may be used with any of the attachments shown below. The duo head holds the laparoscopic instrument firmly in place, ideal for instruments 3, 5, or 10 millimeter in diameter. Nathanson hooks used for organ retraction held in place by the rigid holder may also be used with a laparoscopic articulating arm or flexible laparoscopic holder by using the duo head attachment. The Nathanson hooks also come in small, medium, and large. The scope grip and bushing holds the scope and instruments tightly, prevents rotation of angled scopes. Bushings may be custom ordered to any size. The scope grip bushings come in 5 and 10 millimeter. And the scope clip provides a less firm hold, allows for quick in and out panning of flat scopes. Clips may be custom ordered to any size.